Hey, rolling, you know, you better be careful what you see on camera. <laughs> Welcome to another City Gourmet Pleasures food trail. Today's theme is Share Share. You know, Share Share is in how we like to share share each other's food. Even when the things are portioned out nicely, we also want to try something from the other person's plate. And so since we all love to share share, right, we're going to be taking you to four different cuisine restaurants where you're actually expected to share share. The first is an Argentinian steakhouse concept where they make steaks specially for sharing. And next, we're bringing you to a Mexican restaurant to have some sizzling fajitas. Mm -hmm. And then, share share Spanish style. And finally, share share local Singaporean style called zi cha. Yes, but not any old zi cha. Zi cha, which also makes steaks. Oh, so special ah. Mm. <laughs> okay, so bring along your city card and let's go. So we're here at this restaurant called Bo Chin Che. It's an Argentinian steakhouse concept. When I first saw the name of this restaurant, Bo Chin Che, right, it sounded like, or rather it looked like Bo Chin Thai. Yeah, it <laughs> does, doesn't it? Yeah, but Bo Chin Che means a juicy piece of gossip. I don't think I'm here for the gossip. I'm here for a juicy piece of beef. Ooh, okay. Mm. But before we get to the beef, mm. we're going to do some starters first, right? Yep. This is mm. a beef tongue which is sliced really thin mm. and served with uh, salsa verde and anchovies. This is something that I haven't really tasted before. Yeah. yeah. It is meant for sharing. Like, I mean, our whole theme is share share. Share share. Right? You don't even think that you're eating beef tongue. Yeah. So this one is the octopus dish. Mm -hmm. This is octopus with purple potatoes, truffle okay. oil, and you got some sun dried tomatoes. I think the purple potato sort of throws you off, right? You think it's gonna be deep root, <laughs> something a bit tangy. Tastes like potato, doesn't look like it. Wow, this looks really good. This is their provoletta, which is a melted provolone cheese mm -hmm. with uh, tomatoes. And then this bread looks really interesting. <laughs> I'm gonna use it to dip into this uh, provoletta. It's got a layer of honey on top as well, and they've got pimenton and all. Mmm. Mmm. Look at that! <laughs> wow, so this bread is really nice and chewy and the cheese is melty and the honey just gives it a nice sweetness and the fermented tomatoes just give it a nice tang. And... <laughs> say it, dear. Say it. Say what you usually say when you eat something nice. What do I say? You're going to make this at home. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, here's the meat. Okay, it's all the beef steak here. Okay. I had a look at the aging fridge mm -hmm. and I looked at the range of meats they have. They got very interesting meats. Uh -huh. Of course, some of them from Argentina mm -hmm. and then they got others that are from Australia. Oh. Um, and what we have today is we've got a ribeye from Argentina, tenderloin from Argentina, and then a strip loin and a hanging tender from Australia. Oh. And cooked over the wood and charcoal. Mm. Look at that nice smoky flavour. That particular contraption which is called the perilla, right? Mm. I mean, basically this is what they call the asado, right? The asado is actually a whole concept. It's the, it, the Argentinian, how they say barbecue. The culture is uh, all about family, friends, mm -hmm. getting together, sharing yeah. food. Just sharing life together yeah. and they spend the whole day just having an asado. Yeah, doing up the pit, getting yeah. the fire going, yeah, getting yeah, the meat eat. Slow, it's yeah. just slow, <laughs> just relax. Just enjoying the food and enjoying each other's company as well. Yeah, so right. you can share, share. So we are starting with the Argentinian beef. grass fed beef tends mm. to taste a bit more, you can taste more of the mineral. I mean for layman like me, I just call it beefy la. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they actually do their own chips here. Oh, wow. Yeah. A bit more creamy. It's fluffy inside mm. as well. I mean, this is um, not your ordinary kind of potatoes. You oh. What sort of potatoes do they use? I'm not sure. Mm. First chef also not sure. I asked him. <laughs> oh, it's been kept such a secret that yeah. nobody knows. Now I'm going to go for the hanging tender. They call this the butcher's cut. One cow uh, only has one piece like that. Oh. And the butcher will just take it home for himself. It's the meat from the diaphragm. The flavour is very strong. And this one is actually very tender. Yeah. It makes a difference when you cook it over charcoal and firewood. Lots of very beautiful flavours yeah. here. So, very, very well done. Yeah. yeah. I'm quite impressed. This is the first time we are here at Bo Chin Che. The thing about this place as well, it has a very nice vibe. When you come here, there's a very festive mood about this place. But we're going to share, share the dessert next. These are donuts. Catalonian donuts. Okay, uh, yeah. Almost like a soft mm. custard inside. What's not to love about donuts? <laughs> mm. So, this is definitely a sweet end to our meal. <laughs> 
And the best thing is that the City Gourmet Pleasure special here is that you get a $20 return voucher for any amount spent and to use it, you just need to spend a minimum of $200, which is basically like a 10% discount. Lah. So what's next? Next, we're going to have some share share Mexican food. Okay, so we are here at Sancho's having some nachos. <laughs> but still on this share share theme, right? Yeah, nachos, as you can see, is the ultimate share share food. Mm. We can thank the Mexican for chili, mm -hmm. avocado, okay. and corn. We wouldn't have all this food uh, before uh, Christopher Columbus crossed the Atlantic Ocean, okay. across to the New World, mm. and then they discovered all this food. The chili comes from America, no? Oh, really? South America, yeah. I always thought chili is from Asia. No! So we got the Mexicans uh, to thank for all this food, <laughs> and this is this is typical. Uh. Basically, this chips uh, is not just any store bought chips, you know. Yeah, These are not, all made in house. Yeah, it's not the corn chip that comes from a packet yeah. in the supermarket. You can see that the chips here are really thin, mm. fresh, because they actually make it themselves and fry it themselves. Ah. Now, the other dish that we have here is the grilled prawns. All right, mm -hmm. and it looks like it's got some very nice seasoning. A bit hot, huh? <laughs> it's time for you to try your drink. It's a sangria mocktail, and this one is strawberry margarita. We are going to be having some fajitas next. Oh, yeah, fajitas, we got tacos, we got barbacoa. This is like the Mexican popia. Yes. <laughs> Ultimate share share food lah. Yeah. Because everybody will make their own. You make it your own style, right? Yeah. <laughs> nice, juicy pieces of meat. This blue color thing is uh, made from blue corn. Huh? Corn got blue color na? Apparently. Okay. Yeah. It's Natural. not always yellow. Actually, the original corn wasn't even that yellow. Original corn was like a white. Then then over the years, as they cultivate, cultivate, oh. they get all the different kinds I of see, uh, I see. corn. So the good thing about these blue corn tortillas, aside from the fact that they look like a pair of jeans, right? No, it's quite pretty like yeah, a pair of jeans. Yeah, is that uh, they are gluten-free. So uh -huh. good for those who are wanting a gluten-free diet. This is called a babacoa. Babacoa is a traditional dish usually made from beef, but they are using duck. Ah, okay. So it's like a sweetish, almost like a pulled pork, you know, in a barbecue. Uh -huh. It's shredded meats. Okay, which one are we going to try first? There you go. <laughs> okay. I think go for your babakoa first lah. Okay, babakoa. Okay, let's try this one first. The food here is quite on the spicy side. Mm. The, if you like your spice, you like the food here. But otherwise, the blue colour uh, doesn't really taste any different. Uh. This one is a beef fajita. It's got nice slices of beef. This one I like. <laughs> this one's more familiar. <laughs> so Mexican food is very communal as well because food is a very big thing in the Mexican society. Mm. Just like ours. Which is why we share share, right? Because you want to get together, yeah. enjoy food together. Then you have to snatch up, quickly get all the meat put into yours first. Oh, <laughs> it's enough for everyone. <laughs> la. Are you ready for some Mexican pizza? Yes, I've never had this before. It looks so interesting. <laughs> I mean, what is it? Pia Yudas. Pia Yudas. And this is essentially a vegetarian dish, yeah. right? Got your cheese and then you got this Colorado uh, sauce, yeah. which is uh, quite special. They actually make this in house. Mm. Ready? Oh, oh no, you're just gonna... gonna eat this way, yeah. okay? It's a bit like your nachos, right? Because <laughs> it's a crispy thing with the cheese and then it's got a sauce. And the Colorado sauce is quite it's hot. 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 <laughs> okay. All right, so finally we got some pork. Pork? Yeah, no. churro. Churro. <laughs> Churros. <laughs> it's nice. Ah. Mm. Okay. Alright, so that's Mexican share share. Mm -hmm. And the City Gourmet Pleasures promotion here is that you get 10% off a minimum spend of $80. And for your next meal? No. The current meal. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, that's not too bad. And next, we're going to have some. Share, share, Spanish style. Tapas. So here we are at La Taperia. Yeah, we're having the quintessential share, share Spanish cuisine. Tapas. Yes, remember when we were in Spain, we used mm. to hop from one tapas bar to another tapas bar and then we just order a lot of all these small dishes. That's why we love coming to a Spanish restaurant because it's very relaxed and you get to share-share. Mm -hmm. This is gazpacho, which is the Spanish cold soup. 
is the Spanish tomato cold soup, right? Mm, mm, mm. Very refreshing. Something you they like to eat for summer. Mm -hmm. Very hot, then you have a nice cold soup. I feel like there's a bit of onions, isn't it? I think it's uh, <laughs> capsicum. Oh, no, 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 it's capsicum. Yeah. And onions, you're right. Every time you come to a restaurant, right? Mm. Have to have the salad first. <laughs> because you eat your greens. Yeah, that's right. Eat your greens before your meat. <laughs> yeah, but this salad got a lot of all this uh, good stuff. <laughs> the kind of salad that yeah, I like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Chorizo and some sausage and mm. uh, tuna in it. This is the piquillo pepper stuffed with anchovy and tuna. Oh, mm. okay. This is a uh, foam mix from Rick Capsicum, I think. This piquillo pepper. Definitely, you can see the uh, the tuna right now. Anchovy. You either <laughs> hate it or you love it. Mm, not quite my cup of tea, <laughs> but I, you know, it's nice. It is nice. I mean, these cold starters, definitely very refreshing, all of them. Mm. So, really gets your palate going for the warm tapas. Mm. This is the classic croquetas. Yes. Look at that. Oh, nice. it's jamón. Yes. Right? Of course, the biggest thing that we love in Spain is the, uh, is the ham. Yes. The jamón iberico. And uh, what they've done is they've mashed it all up and put it in here. Mm-hmm. What's there not to like about croquetas? <laughs> Crispy on the outside, creamy on the inside. Yeah. Very easy to eat. Mm. So I'm going to Go slice for octopus. into this. Oh, I like the fact that it's very fragrant mm -hmm. because it's finished on the parilla. Mm -hmm. And all these charred vegetables, right? Wow, look at it. Makes me. Mm, I know you always like <laughs> charred vegetables, especially these uh, little uh, little chilies. Mm. These are the uh, confit lamb ribs. Slow cook so that they are off the bone. Oh. The meat around the ribs, mm. which is usually very tough, okay. so you need to uh, cook Confi it longer. Confi mm. it. <laughs> Got a bit of mint. Mm. Sweet. Yeah. Very flavorful. Mm, they are certainly so, um, you know, hmm? so atas and so refined. You why, why? a knife. Then here I end no. like a barbarian eating. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. So let's try, try the. Pork. The pork. Ah. Iberico, of course. Oh, okay. It almost smells like char siu. <laughs> Juicy, tender. Yeah, and um, the pimenton. Uh, there's a very nice smoky smokiness from mm. the pimenton. Basically, pimenton is essentially kind of roasted peppers. Is that right? That's right. Into a powdery form. And I remember that we went to this pimenton factory in Spain. Mm. Well, we walked in, it was like, whoa! Mm. <laughs> the smell, the beautiful fragrance smell was just wafting in the air. It was just wonderful. And then, yeah. and then you, you leave the place with a layer of like orange, you know? Yeah. <laughs> there's all this powder. <laughs> with any uh, Spanish restaurant, there's one dish that is so iconic of all the Spanish food. Okay, what's mm. that? Paella. Okay. <laughs> this is the classic. Spanish dish. Yes, Spanish rice. It is a uh, claypot rice Spanish style. <laughs> this is squid ink seafood paella. Okay, let's see uh, where, whether they got a socarat. Oh. Socarat. <laughs> Underneath must have socarat. Paella mm. mm. must have socarat also. Must uh. have the crispy socarat. Should it? Mm -hmm. Maybe because it's so black, cannot see. Uh. No, no, no. no. <laughs> they can go feel the socarat. Not so strong the socarat so with this uh. one. Oh, but smells good. Uh. Got a nice bite. Mm. The flavors very nice. Mm. Seafood crustacean type flavors, mm. which is what I like. Dessert time. It looks like creme brulee, but <laughs> it's uh, not. It What's is it a called? crema catalana. Crema catalana. Yeah. Okay. So the difference between this and creme brulee is just flatter. Oh, is it? Yeah. So you get more sugar caramel on top. I think the reason why it's bigger, right? Ah. So that you can share share. <gasps> Oh, nice. nice, nice, nice. Okay. There you go. Okay. Mm. Nice. Actually, mango gives it a interesting twist. Huh? Mm -hmm. mm. This is the chocolate mousse. Okay. Ayah. Hey. When you think of a mousse, right, you think of something like very, very light. But mm. this one is like, it's almost like a piece of ice cream. Uh. I don't talk because the chocolate is so <laughs> sticky. <laughs> So while you're chewing on your chocolate, let me tell you about the City Gourmet Pleasures promotion here. You get $35 off for a minimum of $250 spent. So a bit more than 10% uh, if you think mm. about it, right? Next, Share Share Singapore Star. 
So we're here at the new Ubin Seafood Restaurant. Yes, uh, of course, Singaporeans, uh, whenever we eat, we share share. <laughs> la. So this is actually nothing new. Mm -hmm. But what makes this tuta different from others mm -hmm. is that they have uh, a fusion. Uh. There are some dishes here that is more like uh, Western. Okay, so it's fusion, not confusion. Uh. No, it's not confusion. <laughs> I mean, these are very typical. You got uh, fried bihun here, they call it the boss bihun, and you got uh, squid with housemade sambal chinchalo, Chalo. right? Mm -hmm. Okay, but we also have this. This one is called the free range egg with foie gras. Right, this really is like a something that you find in a Western Well, place. basically, they're trying to think about it as like, you know, when you have your egg and your kaya toast, la, ah, this came from that idea, then they want okay. to add in the foie gras. La, then, but okay. then they put it into this nice, kind of very traditional cup and saucer, right? This free-range egg, okay? Not your normal O oh, right, and foie with yeah. foie gras. Foie gras. Mmm. 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 Mm. The only thing is, this is not really share share, right? This is <laughs> medium squid with house made sambal chinchalo. It's medium squid because today the market uh, provide the medium squid. La. So then, when they have big squid, then they'll say large squid, right? <laughs> the squid is very nice, very fresh. It goes really well with the sauce. It's very appetizing because mm. of the tanginess, yeah. Mm. Good. Okay, this is another of their signature dish boss fried rice. <laughs> No, this is Boss Bihun. What Boss oh, sorry, Fried sorry. Rice? <laughs> boss Bihun. Why is it called Boss Bihun? Because Boss like it. Boss like it. <laughs> this is one of those dishes that made new Ubin famous. Oh, is it? The so Boss everybody, Bihun? Everybody, yeah, everybody likes it. Okay. The first time I ate it, I wrote about it. Mm. And, you know, and since then, it's been on the menu. Must order and must try. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we are here at a Western restaurant. No, 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 I told you. Zi cha, but with steak. I've written about New Ubin ever since long, don't know how long ago when they was, you know, when they were first started, and they already had this. And it's already nicely all sliced up for you, cute yeah. already, so that you can share, share. Yeah, share, share. In the old days, they mm. just had a simple grill, la. All right. Right, but nowadays they are using this very special charcoal oven, right? Mm. Oh, nice. The oven makes a difference, right? Yeah. The oh. charcoal flavor. Mm, it's a nice crust. Mm. And importantly, they use rib eye. Mm. The piece of fat in the middle. Mm. Right? They render it and then you have this. Oh fried yes. Rice with <coughs> deep fat. This is called the heart attack fried rice. Mm. <laughs> heart attack because? It's basically rice fried with beef fat. Mm. So if you, if you want this, you have to order the beef. So you cannot order this on its own? Ah? No, no, no. You have to order the steak in order to order oh. the rice. Worth getting a heart attack for. <laughs> no, nothing is worth having a heart attack for. Nothing is worth. It's not money. Everybody just say, oh, heart attack. But nobody enjoys having a heart attack, okay? Mmm. 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 There's something about this. And the right? black black piece is basically the fried Beef fat. Beef, beef fat. Mm. When it comes to Singaporean share share culture, mm. you need to have the lazy Susie so you can do this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. So this is called the langoustine noodle soup. Okay. I, at first I was wondering what langoustine noodle <laughs> soup. Then when it came, we go ah yeah, it's actually prawn mee la. So this is the bihun that you get from your exo bihun soup la. <laughs> yes, yes. They call this a river langoustine, mm. which is basically an oxymoron because oh. langoustines only exist in the ocean. Okay. Uh, this is these are Malaysian uh, or Indonesian mm. river prawns like big head prawn, mm. very nice, a lot of gore, you know, a lot of the tomali inside. Makes the soup richer. It reminds me of the Penang style prawn mee. Oh, is it? It's quite sweet. Mm. And it's the clear type, it's not very um, thick. Mm. Yeah. This is their smoked pork curry. Okay. So, smoked pork again, they smoke their own pork. There's no zi cha handbook that says you can only do these things, right? True. So zi cha, you can do anything you want mm. as long as you're the boss. So ah. when it first came, it was in a clay pot. There was like the curry underneath and then on top of it, it's got some mm. fried egg. You gotta so you got to mix, mix it all, it all up. up. Mm. Yeah, and of course the smoke pot on top as well. Mm. Yeah. I think I would prefer the smoke pot on its own rather than infused in with the curry and the everything. The curry itself is very nice. Huh? For me, I'm a bit confused. Huh? I feel this is a bit too much mm. for me. Yeah. Okay, that's all. So we should just order the smoke pot with a bit of a honey. Wow, well, it's very nice. Yeah. Or maple syrup. So overall, I think the food at New Ubin is still very good. Mm. A few dishes that we will definitely order again. And best of all, 
The City Gourmet Pleasures deal here is with a minimum $100 spend, you get 15% off on Mondays to Thursdays and 10% off on Fridays to Sundays. Well, thanks very much for joining us on this uh, Share Share Trail and I hope you found some place to go where you can share share the food with all your friends and family. And if you have to share share, mm. don't forget to bring along your city card mm. so you can enjoy all the offers. Yeah, okay. Actually, food uh, mm. is best to share share. Uh -huh. A bill, uh, boss pay. <laughs> Until next time, happy eating and bye for now.